with the beginning of the new series, Boruto Naruto Next Generation we early understood that one between Naruto and Sasuke will probably die. Although the majority of the fans think that will be Naruto to leave us all, on the contrary, I'm strongly convinced that Sasuke's chances to die are even much higher than Naruto's ones, and, for this reason, in my opinion Sasuke will die before Naruto. How can I say this? Here you have the three main reasons which brought me to think so one Boruto's clothes of course, the first reason for which I think so can be found in the first episode of the anime as a teenager, Boruto will stand in front of Kaoki, getting ready to fight in order to save Kanoa meanwhile, he is wearing Sasuke's coat and he's wielding Sasuke's sword. We know that is a common habit to keep with us things that once belonged to someone who nowadays is dead, so, following this logic, Sasuke could have died in some way and Boruto took his coat and his sword as a memory of his master. Boruto is also wearing a headband, but it isn't Sasuke's one. Because Sasuke's one was blue, while Boruto's one is black. To Sasuke's lifestyle we all know that, since the end of the fourth great shinobi war, Sasuke started to perform from shadows in order to protect the world. As a wandering ninja we also know that many characters had already tried in the past to do things from shadows and they ended up dying. For example, Jiraiya died while investigating about pain, Atachi died after living a whole life in shadows and the same Madara and Obito, who worked for decades in shadows. For this reason, we can assume that Sasuke is more likely to die. 3. The popularity basing on fans' votes and on the statistics, Sasuke is beloved by almost every Naruto fan, but, if they have to choose between him and Naruto, Naruto is highly preferred than Sasuke for this reason, if Kishimoto makes Naruto dying, the internet would explode and there would be a big clash between the ones who think it's right he dies as a hockage, and the others who states that he's a character too important for the development of the events to die. In this way Kishimoto would go through a storm. That would be really difficult to deal with. On the contrary, if he makes Sasuke dying, everybody would be sad about this fact but, thanks to the fact that Naruto remains alive, at the central figure of the anime, the majority of fans wouldn't care too much about Sasuke's death after a little time. In conclusion, I can just say that almost one of them is certainly going to die and this because the series needs some sad moments in fact, during Naruto and Naruto Shippuden, we went through a huge variety of really moving deaths Hakuch, Zabuza, Hiruzen, Asuma, Neji, Jiraiya, Atachi etc. so that also the new series will need to stay on a similar level.